Welcome back, everyone, to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today is going to be a random, normal character run for win number two and episode number 326. Your question for today is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below, what do you think is a game that on its own is not that good, but with community content gets carried hard, mods and things like that. Seed, by the way, is going to be NW64EF0R, one of my favorite characters in The Binding of Isaac. Fancy Brooch spawns an extra item in the shop. Sure, sounds very fun. Does it work? No, co no costume? No costume? But I want to see my guy with a monocle on. This is the saddest day of my life right now. Uh, but there is this, like, weird subset of games that I've played that on their own, they're fine. They're very mid, as the Twitter kids would say. Oh, not you again, you jackass. Get out of here. They're very mid games, but the, the mods the community makes and the community content for that game is what really carries the game. And I'm going to make some, some very small hot takes here, some very tiny hot takes. Uh, three games came to mind that on their own, I think, are extremely mid games, but the modding scene and the YouTube scene carry the game's contents to new height. Number one, we're gonna talk about a game, a very small indie game that I'm guessing a lot of you haven't heard of. Uh, it, it was created by uh, Hatsune Miku. It's called Minecraft. Uh, I know, a very underground indie game right there. Yo, I, I might actually steal that later on. It sounds like a not bad thing to have. Uh, the deal with Minecraft is this, it's fun. I think it's a fun game. How do I how do I manage? You go through rocks? Shoot me? You what the hell was I I can throw you can throw bone, I forgot. I don't wanna be the other guy that have half a heart on the soul right now. I don't wanna lose my Fergore run this early. Uh it's a fun game though. I'm not gonna deny that. I have a lot of hours in Minecraft. But I have to ask myself. How many of those hours are spent in single player? Or like a multiplayer LAN world? Effectively zero. Like I've played single play- I haven't actually beaten the Ender Dragon legitimately on my own. Ever. I don't have a drive to. I think the goal of the game as a whole is a little bit boring. But where Minecraft really shines is the creators making up custom mini games, The modding scene making up really cool mod packs and standalone mods. You have, like, servers putting minigames out and, and, and custom maps and stuff. The the golden, uh, I guess, era of Minecraft is when all those, like, the Herobrine map was made and Lucky Block mod and, and you know, Tech It and shit like that was coming out. I think 1.5 was around that time when uh, the community content really started to thrive. And you know what, dude? It hasn't gotten better than that. Even nowadays, like... When you play Minecraft, are you going onto a single-player world or like a regular SMP, or are you logging into Hypixel, logging into Mineplex? It, you can't deny Minecraft has great bones to be a standalone game, but it has even better bones to be a game that you can create whatever you want to be a part of it. That's the point of, of the game is creating and building and stuff. What about building is things to go into the game, like mods and texture packs and things like that? Minecraft on its own is is not a very full game. It, it feels empty in a lot of the aspects, especially like the, the, the arcana. Like it's what, there's enchanting and there's potions. It doesn't need to have a robust like magic system, but you have the bones there to make a better magic system or a better enchanting slash potion system, but it's been the same for like, you know, God knows how many, I think 1.9 changed the enchanting like requirements for levels and all that. whoop de fucking do that was like what? Three, four, five, six, seven updates ago? Who even knows at this point? Point is, it is standalone the game lacks quite a bit that the community makes up for with their own content. Uh, and I played on stream recently uh, with one of my Discord mods, Joka. He was on this series once. We did a co-op run. I think it was like a May, uh, a May and a Bertrand run on co-op a while ago. It was a very fun run. Go check that out if you want to on the channel somewhere, like maybe three or four months ago. But we played a mini game on Minecraft uh, made by uh, a modder named Atsign. It was uh, called a Minecraft Lockout. 
you get a 5x5 five five board of goals to achieve, and only one person can achieve those goals. The goal is to get, you know, over half, so 13, to lock out your opponents from winning the, the challenge. We played that on stream. I, I obviously I won because I'm a fucking god gamer. It was like 13 to 4. I'm a legend. But uh, it was so much fun. And I had not had fun playing like a one or a co op Minecraft adventure like that since like the fucking Hero Brine map came out in like 2013 or some shit. I mean, it really stands to reason that if you're going to make a game like Minecraft, you're pretty much making a game that has to be community funded. Like, you can play survival and you can have a blast. It's just not personally for me. Uh, and the lockout, God, was that so much fun! Not only was it one of my highest, like, higher viewed streams of recent day, but also the chat loved it. I had so much fun doing it. It was fun to kind of explore, like, just how much do I really know about this game of. I gotta talk slower. I, my, my voice is so gone right now. Uh, how much do I really know about this game I've been playing for the last decade? Do I know anything at all? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm wet for Cracked Crown right now. Give me that nickel. Hell yeah. It's not going to be an amazing DPS upgrade right away, but over the course of this run, it will become a whole lot better. Uh, but the lockout was so much fun. Uh, I got a really, really strong start. Then, of course, Joka had died on accident he died on his i didn't kill him he fell off a cliff and lost all his stuff in like lava or some shit uh which set him back quite a bit but even still with him being at a very hard disadvantage i mean it was still fun for both of us yo the range upgrade though actually crazy and watch this you get both of them for free uh, well not free but you get you don't you don't die by taking those and uh you are good to just move on down but it was so much fun uh, and I want to do a bunch more. If you guys have any, like, st like smaller streamers that are around my size that I may know through Isaac or other things that you want to see me do a Minecraft challenge against, let me know down below. I'd love to do more. I really want to do... Like, I'm, I'm addicted now, man. It's it's the new Bed Wars for me. Whereas Bed Wars is really not that fun to watch unless you're playing with chat, I think, uh, and, and trying to, like, talk through chat with your viewers. The lockout, it's, it's tense. It's like a one-on-one -on -one competition. And those are often way more tense than like a 1v1v1v1v1 1v1, 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 etc it, it is a lot more entertaining plus you know you just, there's some good chances for good banter in there as well through like you spot the other player close near you things like that it's it's just it's amazing i'm gonna try to do lockouts like once a week i may even do like a lockout once a week after um i get done nuzlocking for that day for isaac so we'll we'll see though oh my i hate that man so much this is like the worst room layout to fight uh, one of those boys in, but I love it. And it, it has kind of like brought back a little bit of my passion for Minecraft. I, I mean, it, as someone in my chat, I think it was Asa who said this um, in Discord, but like it was fun because it reminds you of like when you used to watch stuff like Battle Dome, like Beijing, Canadian, and Sky does Minecraft's Battle Dome back in the day. It, it brings back a lot of nostalgia for that because you're like just watching friends do a custom Minecraft thing with uh, pretty much no rules besides just like beat the challenge. I, I hate these poop things, man. Why are they so fast and they fire so quickly every time? I'm, I'm so salty. I'm taking that. I want more soul hearts, please. And I want this as well. Use your stick to grab them. It'll be so much faster. Boom, boom. This guy's lasting quite a while. And there it goes. Anything in here? Random Locust? Cracked Crown is still better. It's a small... It's a 0.35 damage up. Try and beat that, liberals. But again, like, it's... Minecraft, to me, is mostly a game that's now carried by community-made content and misguided nostalgia. The game is not what it used to... How did that hit me, man? The game is not what it used to be by any standard. They, they've they added quite a lot, and a lot of it for the better, but some of it as well, like, just feels like they're adding disconnected things. Like, they phrased it in one Minecraft update that, like, when they implement a new feature or mechanic, they have to make sure it, co it can coexist and also function with other, you know, already in-game things so it doesn't feel like it's just a separate mod. Because a lot of mods will make, like, you know, one new thing, and it's doesn't interact with anything in the base game it's, it's its own separate thing and it makes the world and the game feel a lot less um together so the way mojang does it is 
every new feature they add has to kind of collaborate with another already in the game feature. Now that's great if they actually would fucking do that because the last like two updates they've made, a lot of the stuff they've added is independent and all by itself. The caves and cliffs thing is kind of hard to rank because it's like, it changed the entire world's generation. So yes, it, it does fall under that category, but shit like bees, which just make honey, which are just like discount slime blocks. And that's like all they do. Uh, and the new like frogs and the mangrove biome and the warden, this stuff, it's, it doesn't interact with much. I mean, sure, the, the skulks are like redstone, I guess at this point, but I don't know. There, there's not a lot tying the new updates to what the base game used to be. When we used to get updates that were like, that had more substance to them, I'm actually gonna take shop over item room right now. Wow, who could have been more right in this scenario? I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna go for some more familiars here as well. Okay. Um, is this worth bombing for even more? I don't think so. I'd like to get conjoined on this character for the wider spread shot, but if it can't happen, it can't happen. That, while being a range down for us, it cancels out the Eye of Belial pickup. It makes this character... I guess we kind of already had piercing, so that might have been a terrible pickup there. It gave us bigger tiers, and I like having bigger tiers, so you know what? Stuff it. Let's go fight the boss right now, and hopefully get another quick devil deal off our 9% chance. Okay? Listen, I, I can deal. I can- you shot him. Oh my- oh my god, dude. I'm- I- I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I used to be so good as this character. It was like hitless runs the entire time. Now, I'm being too risky, I'm being too stupid with it. Pop up, please, my lord. Okay, this boss by himself, though, is already a piece of work. The fire can't even hit him, dude. Are you joking? Well. Love a boss that uh, just hides the entire fight, and that's all it can do. Bone hurting juice? Oh, hilarious. It gives me an extra bone. I, I have to have the bone heart, so you know what? Might as well. Is there any heart down here? Nope. All right. Well, moving on down. I just, like, I used to be so good, and now I'm so bad, but also I that boss is terribly designed. Like, they couldn't think of a way to make the boss hard, so they just made the boss, like, hide the entire time. It, it's, it's the Forsaken, but, like, way worse, and it makes me tired and angry and sad. We have a planetarium challenge room on top of a sacrifice room and a shop right below us. There's potential here. There's potential here. Am I gonna do this room? Here's the thing. If the item is like B tier or below, I do not have the current tools and or resources to properly fight whatever hell spawn this mod makes up for me. Oh, man. Soul is like an A tier. Which means I totally should do it. Is it though? It only like shows you where the... It, it's the compass. But less good. I guess it gives you a full heal after your boss. Which is honestly pretty valuable. Oh man, I... I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. No, no... No, I'm fricked. I'm so fricked right now. Dude, come on. Champions in this room? <laughs> really? I'm so fricked here. That got me. That shot. Okay. Just don't maul. Just don't maul. My nose is super itchy right now. I have a very large mustache. Let's do some more sacrificing. That shot is bullshit, though. It should not have hit me. Okay, you feel blessed. Good. That's what I wanted to see. I'll do some more. If... The boss fight does not give me a good enough item to warrant taking on whatever that mod's gonna spawn for me. I can't do it. So many champ. I guess I have the curse of conquest right now, but still, kind of just so many. Like that, I I could have became the soul and dodged the creep. I realize that now, but in the moment, it's like, what the fuck do you do? If I didn't have flight in that room, that was gonna be like essentially unavoidable damage with how fast I can't kill things right now. Thank you. Okay, fight the boss. Use bombs if you have to. You're gonna have to. Well, no, you have piercing tears. You actually might be super okay here. 
But also, you could die in one hit because you're playing as the character who has only one heart, which is not your greatest maneuver of all time. He's dead. We're fine. Anything here? Okay. Give it a second. Dark Arts. Neither of these are really good enough to warrant spending HP like that. What I'm going to do instead is sacrifice some more. Tears Up is really good. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I'll go back for that one last heart we have in here. I don't know, man. This this run's not off to the most amazing start. It, it, it is mostly my fault, obviously. But uh, that doesn't make it okay. Tech Pie. Fires a laser towards where you are walking. I think this item is pretty good. I haven't had this item in a long time. Yeah, no, it, it is pretty good. Um, you can do some pretty good damage with this. I do want to sacrifice a couple more times. I want to go for the big soul hearts or um, go for the 20 cents. Both of those will be very, very good. That gives us the heart to manage that with. Go into here first, though. Okay, we get a black heart, I believe, out of this. Yes, perfect. Fly out. I should have used the bone, man. I'm so dumb. Go into here. Troll bombs. Let them spawn. Walk out. You have a key for your shop. Go into your shop. Golden teleporter. I'm actually a huge fan of this item. I really am. Go back here. Spawn Uriel. He dies. You get this. You do your last couple of rooms here. You teleport into an angel deal. Uh, not, sorry, an error room. Come on. The laser can affect, like, barrels? Oh. I'm getting unlucky out of just, like, lack of game knowledge. Like, the, the, the things are working as intended. I just don't know how they're supposed to work. That That's my, my caveat right now. You have one, one more final room. Then go find your secret rooms. Then get the freak out of here. Can I? I can go in here. <gasps> the binky? Actually, tactical. Take binky. Get the freak out. Teleport into here. Why? This is such a cool idea for a room, but also so scary. This is the last sacrifice you'll be doing. And honestly, I'm going to say it, it worked out very well. Do this. You have too many batteries on the floor, so do this. For free secret room find. Get the hell out of there. Get your batteries. And now, you go to an error room, correct? It's, it was all worth it. It was literally all worth it. Moving on down. Okay, this floor's item room is going to give us a fantastic item in the form of the Parasite. We have found our secret room and our shop. We have to enter in here regardless um, to hopefully get another golden teleporter clutch on this floor for, at the very least, a devil deal over nothing. Um, we have to find our super secret room as well. Hold on. Where could it be? I'm gonna guess, like, obviously near the boss fight, because, like, where else would it be? But it's not here, it's not here, it's not there. So, uh, you know, you gotta guess right there, obviously. You gotta guess right, okay, the laser. Oh, I forgot about this little tidbit. The laser pushes your bombs away. Uh, it's not there. It can be right here. It is right here. And there are no batteries, and our shop was a greed fight. So, we are going to get a deal. We could also fight the Eternal Champion Room, which I left open for a very specific reason, to get the Error Room. So, although I don't think we get to keep hold of our item room, or our, our active item in that room, making it impossible, if I'm not mistaken, to get a charge off in there, I think the Eternal Item Room, or the Eternal Champion Rooms, to avoid you uh, just teleporting out, it takes away both your cards and your active item. So you can't, like, you know, teleporter away or hermit card out of there. But on the off chance, we could also just get a devil deal right now and then get freaking bloody lust and pop this open, then pop this, and that's an error room. Well, sometimes things just work out regardless. 
Nothing in that chest, and we get more in here. Lovely. I'm gonna need a couple more keys from you, game. Just a few more. Okay, card. Chariot's pretty good. You're nothing, right? Yeah, you guys don't give anything right. Okay, I, wa I wanted to double- it could have been something crazy. I wanted to double check there. I'll fight the angel statues as well. Um, for potential angel deal increase. Oh, we lost a lot of stats there. Oh, no. How will I ever survive? Hit me. I freaking dare you, dude. Okay. He does- they don't spawn the things. I also- I hate this laser, dude. I- you can't place bombs down. Ever. Get two keys, and move on down. Okay, good floor, good planning on our part, but I, I'm still nervous for the actual run. A bedroom, a vault room, and a beast store. Walk into a bar. Can this item... <laughs> Why make it affect bombs is my only question. Like, you're never going to use it with your bombs. There's a small chance. It did not happen. I'm also going to upgrade if I can. Nothing. Cool. We'll go to the vault room next. For batteries. That means we are guaranteed a deal no matter what on this floor, as long as we obviously find both secret rooms, which with 12 bombs shouldn't be too bad. Alright, dude. Got a sharpshooter on the field right now. You proud of yourself, big boy? Got a trophy? Good, you're dead. Uh, as long as we get the proper rooms found, we're guaranteed both a deal, and if we grab the full card and get the batteries afterwards, we're also guaranteed... Uh, an error room, so you're reflected. I I feel pretty damn good about this run. And in here, please. You know, I like getting HP. We also have a chariot card if things go really wrong in here, that I, I am willing to 100% pop. What we're doing, the laser like will occasionally just do insane damage. Or maybe it's our Immaculate Heart Parrot... Can I talk? Immaculate Heart Parasite Tears doing that. I think it's the... Ho oh, ho ho! That one didn't hit me. Look at that. I'm learning, guys. Maybe it's the Parasite Laser Beam. That, I guess, would make the most sense. I... No. I... I it's... it's... <sighs> Give me Missigno on a bad run. Why do I only get this item when I have, like, a run that I would consider to be fun? I'll, I'll think about it. I'm not going to promise you anything, though. Okay, item room and shop back-to-back. -back. A restock machine is music to my ears right now. Can I, if I can even hit the bomb to open it. Maybe 12 bombs won't be enough. I guess we'll never know. Please, I'm looking for, for big boy Dammy. What the hell are you? Oh, you're Nerve Pinch. Yeah, I, it can be really, really good when you have the right build, but for us, when... The only thing we get for taking damage is bone. Wow, that's funny. Uh, bone orbitals? Sure. With Parasite, pretty good. Uh, it's not worth my time. The shop gives us... We can buy a golden penny. Wow, that was... that was. I've never seen that animation before, I don't think, ever. Sure, for Park and Joyand, I guess. Uh, and I think... You're good to look for your other rooms... Find your fool card so you you can... There it is right there. So you don't uh, have to cheat out of the mom's heart fight. We're not going to make boss rush. Don't worry about that. And I'm, if I had to take a wild stab. Like, I'm talking like an out of the... I'm talking like an out of the park guess. Okay. You know what? They can't all be winners. It's not there. What about, what about right there? All right. You know what? That's epic. It's not there either. Uh, I'm getting a little bit nervous and sweating for our chance right now. Where else could the secret... Oh, I guess it could be below the shop too, huh? We're guaranteed a deal now. That's it though. We have no more bombs. Because this item is amazing with bombs. We have one more room to clear and then I think we're good. I'm probably... Two more rooms, okay. Probably not going to take more than that. Uh, missing though. Just because I'm, I'm getting into the groove of today's run, the Parasite, like, permanent laser beam, um, is really fun. Do I get a bomb in here, maybe? It's just a wild thought, you know. Ah! Not a bomb. Okay. 
I do see a bomb in here that I for, did not grab apparently earlier. We have one shot at this. <laughs> I thought I'd be good. Honestly, I did. Whatever. Go into here. Fight it out. You're going to see it next. You can then full cut out of here and then go back. Get a guaranteed deal. You could find a battery between now and then. It's not impossible. Go for the negative on today's run. What's in the crawl space for us? Hey, more bombs. Which, if we do... Wait, we can actually make this work, can't we? Well, let me do a little bit of thinking real quick. If we... Fool card first. There's nothing wrong with doing that. We open up the secret room. Hopefully. Not a guaranteed chance, right? Yeah, so you fool card first. You go over here. Look at that, dude. Things that did end up working out for us actually quite well, too. So now you pop this, go to a devil deal. Right. You take Empty Vessel, it's a very good item. You take the other part Guppy, so you're two parts Guppy now. Then you get the hell out of here, go back to your vault room, and that's gonna be the error room. Yo, okay, we're actually making some fantastic things work right now. Tech laser. Slippy tooth? I mean, how do we shoot now? Ooh, we get a little bit of a laser beam action. Okay, I see you, I see you. All right, there's the boss fight and a mimic door right here. I'm going to obviously, hopefully, get both of them accessed. We get a Soul of Eve and a Fool card. Definitely taking Soul of Eve. I'm also not going to min-max for the uh, Golden Teleporter anymore. We are at a point in the run where this should carry us to the end. Obviously, getting Guppy would be nice, but there are, are no guarantees, even if we do have that happen. Hey, I will, I will definitely sack Alter right now. We got one. Pentagram's good, all right, man? Pentagram's fine. Take this. Uh, I guess we could just clear it. Nah, dude, you know what? Keep moving on down. You can still get devil deals up until the final floor of the game with this item. I just feel like it's a bit ridiculous to try and do that. The run's already great. We have tech 3.141596. We have tech L. We have lusty blood. Eye of Belial. Like, we have a strong devil deal base run right now. It doesn't really need to have um, really anything else to augment it. I'm satisfied. All right, and here's the mom's heart fight. I'm not going to min-max once again. I'd like to see a deal, but if not, that's the way she blows, partner. Get out of here. Thank you anything we do get a deal look at that i gotta i gotta go for both death sacrifice and purgatory uh listen man the soul dying for these two items can't say i'm very pleased but we can maybe find and bury it down here with satan i guess there's only one way to find out huh all right, speaking of Satan, the floor was very uneventful. Like, literally, I got a Parathrow rune. That's, like, it. Very, very, like, a tame run for being this strong. Good time, Bomb. Just barely off, man. The 42 frame count not helping with that. It does make a difference, I promise you. Angle this. We go down. Perfect. We just, like, two-shot him. We could have zero-shotted him there. What if we zero shot the legs? Dream big. Wow, we zero. <laughs> it took like three seconds to zero shot the legs there. Okay, well, final floor. We get four items and a pair throw room. We got to pay for all these items, though, is the very sad thing. Yes. No, actually, I don't want any of these um, because they don't do anything for me. So, Eden's Blessing. You don't turn that down. You don't turn this down either. Okay, now you go for the big victory. We do get another starting item next run. It feels like just yesterday we got a free Monstro's Lung through Testament, so I'm not going to complain. That was a very fun mother run. Go watch it if you haven't. It was very good. But Eden's Blessing could be a... It's it's called the Blessing, but it could also like be a curse. If you don't take Eden's Blessing, you're a pussy. That's the number one thing. If you don't take Eden's Blessing, you're a pussy. Because... 
whether the item you get is bad or good, that's the whole point of Isaac. That's the entire point of the of the game, is that you work with what you're given. So if you get a bad item, man, maybe it could become good through, like, uh, a synergy you get on your run, or maybe it's bad the entire time. I don't know, but it makes the game different, and that's really all that matters. If I just shoot like this... Like, oh, I don't have this soul. I can't switch over to him. That's fine. No amount of damage right now is going to make this run worse, and I'll take this, too. The higher our tier rate... Oh, it doesn't go up at all. Okay, great. I was going to say, the higher our tier rate is, uh, the more immaculate heart laser beams we get, which also, in turn, means the more damage we deal. So, I'd rather have those than... Uh, oh, hello, friend. I'd rather have those than keep my, like, good old-fashioned 13.44 damage. Maybe lose, like, 0.6 off of that. Who's to say? Uh, but it also looks like we chose the right way for our boss fight as well. I was going to talk about more games that I thought were mid, but also had a good community. I was going to mention, or, you know, they're carried by community content. I was, oh, wrong way. I was going to mention Terraria and Skyrim as well. Skyrim is really only fun to explore the full world once. Then on every, like, subsequent attempt, you're kind of just like, yeah, I, I know the quest line. I want to go ahead. Like, I always try to skip ahead in quest lines if I know what's going on in them. And to that degree, it's like, I'm not really playing the game again. I'm just kind of doing what is a glorified walkthrough. Um, and when it comes to Terraria, well, I haven't gotten super into the game. From what I did play, I had a great time. But And I would like playing it back again. It's definitely a better game than Minecraft on its own. However, personally, I think that... Like if you look at the content for Terraria nowadays, it's like, it's like Calamity Mod and that's it. And a couple other mod packs. You don't see a lot of like vanilla game playthroughs, which makes me think that core Terraria fans definitely think um, the same as me in that regard. I don't even know what that did, but it looked funny. Help me? I'll take that, and we'll go frick up the land. But I don't know. I think, I think Minecraft, Terraria, and Skyrim are like, kind of like the trifecta of good but mid games that get carried by uh pretty strong community made content i want to test something here i'm not going to go to void no portal anyways huh it gave us a pretty size who would have guessed that taking damage gives you damage with bloody lust i never would have guessed anyways though if you enjoyed the run of my commentary a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine in the meantime though guys i have been bd1p peace out and goodbye